Hello, everyone. I'm really excited to be here. This is my first time presenting. Um, so I wanted to walk you through my SharePoint hackathon entry. Um, so my name is Liz Morn, and I am a SharePoint consultant at Software One. Um, I work out of North America in our digital workplace group. Um, I work with a lot of customers migrating SharePoint content, modernizing SharePoint, and solving SharePoint problems um, with modern solutions. So I'm super excited to kind of walk through um, my thoughts around SharePoint agents and the approach I took uh, on my entry. So one of the areas where I see a lot of issues um, are with document libraries and structures. Um, I know, you know, SharePoint has fantastic capabilities with metadata, and I want to make everyone aware of uh, what's available. So that's my ultimate goal in anything I do with SharePoint is trying to attach metadata to just about everything possible. Um, you know, we see a lot of folder usage in SharePoint, and a lot of uh, content gets buried in folders, and I am often trying to help uh, users, you know, find their content. So this was a way to help explore um, options for content discovery that were available, you know, without any code or low code options, maybe, um, for the average user so that they can use the features of SharePoint that they're comfortable with in building a solution to help surface information um, for their group, for their organization. Um, my approach to this, um, so that it didn't feel like work, was to try to make it fun and give it a sci-fi theme and uh, just, you know, have a little fun with it overall so that it wasn't just another task on my to-do list. So, um, again, you know, I, my focus here was on, on simple no-code solutions. Um, we see a lot of folks, you know, that have limited resources or maybe there are other um, you know, engagements going on when there's not time to work on kind of cleaning up a SharePoint library. Um, so, you know, we know that SharePoint libraries can grow rapidly, uh, and users often get stuck digging through content, you know, folder after folder. And even, even with search, it can be hard to surface relevant content or know what is, you know, the, the most recent content. Um, so that's where, you know, metadata can come into play, but we need to make sure that our metadata is consistent and used um, across the board. So the idea here is the agent uh, will tackle that problem uh, with a more intuitive structured approach to help guide users through, through their content without needing them to know the exact file name or location. So, and because it is no code, it's accessible to anyone with a little bit of knowledge. So I created the agent directly in SharePoint uh, using the created agent experience, no Copilot Studio required, and I connected it to uh, my Cosmic repository, and um, that includes a document library and my site pages, and these site pages are playing a huge role. So they're a lightweight way to help introduce metadata without completely reorganizing everything. So my thoughts around this were a lot of times I am asked to help restructure um, a SharePoint library, and maybe it's a, a multi-step process. So my thoughts were that, you know, we can introduce metadata to the documents and pages and use the agent as kind of a transitional way to modernize and flatten our document libraries. And again, you know, we're all used to working with folders, um, and it's just natural, and I see a lot of business processes built around folders. So I'm not looking to completely eliminate the folder experience, um, but want to make it content more accessible. So the pages are that entry point for most users. Um, so, you know, that's really where I see a lot of work being done, folks use pages in, in many aspects of SharePoint and Teams. Um, so that was an accessible way to get folks involved in helping to surface information. And then the real magic is in the prompts. So um, I'll show you here shortly in a demo, but each one of the prompts uh, was designed to re reflect a different use case. So requesting project summaries, finding tactical documents, or pulling up overviews. 
So I'm trying to think of natural um, language ways, to, but specific and intentional language to help utilize the metadata that I have behind the scenes to do that heavy lifting. So the agent can search across the entire library using the metadata and it's responding to that conversational tone and it helps to maintain that consistent voice throughout. So that creates trust um, and makes it a more, more polished experience. So and I, my thoughts were as well, you know, I want to expand it in the future. We can enhance it with Copilot Studio, but I was looking for kind of an entry level um, way into agents and getting that exposure and making folks uh, more trusting of it. So I just want to, before I hop into my little demo, I just want to make an important note here. You know, uh, metadata quality is everything, especially with my um, entry here. So when it's applied consistently, you know, the agent can be really effective. And it's also a great reason to help folks move away from messy folders towards something that's more manageable. So um, good naming conventions and structure can help uh, surface information quickly. Um, so if you haven't looked into SharePoint agents, uh, I think, you know, this is a good time. They're easy to deploy. They're fun to build and, uh, you know, they can be a helpful bridge between users and content, especially in complex environments. So, you know, in my little bit, you know, giving it a little personality, a little bit of fl fun flair um, can help it be something that folks enjoy using uh, rather than just kind of a everyday task. So with that, I want to pop into our Galactic, Galactic Archivist. So um, you'll see here uh, my homepage. Uh, we're spotlighting our uh, employee of the month, our senior data custodian. Um, so I'm just, you know, again, trying to put some additional information out there and um, populate pages with content. But... Um, the real, you know, heart of this is the metadata. So if I take a look into my library here, my Data Horizon library, I simulated um, a standard folder structure. Now I don't have, you know, complex nested folders going on here, but gives you an idea of what we might see in your average document library. So I've gone ahead and I've added some metadata specific to the files. We have document types, uh, strategic importance, and then I've given a rank to my files. So these are legendary and common, and then also um, related topics. So the related topics metadata is, plays a part in my site pages, um, which we'll pop over and take a look at here in just a moment. Um, and again, the idea here was that you know, rather than restructuring a folder with heavy folder usage, uh, excuse me, rather than restructuring a library with heavy folder usage, we can simply apply some metadata to those files and folders. And then with the help of the SharePoint pages, use the agent to surface that information. So if we take a look at one of our sample pages here, I just have some basic web parts, uh, document library, uh, with a view for our war logs, and then some additional data on key battle reports. And this is pulling content from different places. Um, and this is helping the agent to know what to surface and pull that information up. So we can take a look over here at the agent. I want to go into our behavior. So I've been very verbose in my instructions to my agent, but also intentional. Um, so my starter prompts go from very broad requests. As you'll see here, I'm asking it to pull all the intelligence, including reports and documents. And then I wanted to include pages and files. Um, so this will pull up, you know, a considerable amount of information. My second prompt refines that a little further. Um, so I'm asking it only to provide me with hub pages. So it will hit the surface here in a moment. Um, those SharePoint site pages with those summaries that we had just taken a look at here. And then I have my references to my SharePoint pages. 
Again, just an easy way to help refine uh, that search process. And then my last starter prompt is looking for specific files. So, and I'm asking it to limit it to five documents. So again, being intentional about my prompts and what I'm asking it to do. And then it will pull up these documents uh, with a recent verifying date, limiting it to five files. So you'll see here we go right into our files. Um, and then the last part here was my um, instructions for the agent again, uh, was rather robust and specific, um, which is all very important. Um, so, you know, I think where it can be helpful is, especially in those cases where we have a library or maybe we have a handful of users that have um, a lot of institutional knowledge or insight into the files and folders, this is a place where, you know, their input would be very valuable in helping to craft the starter prompts and the instructions, um, making it available to users to be able to quickly access information, surface it, and if it's a library where they're not overly familiar with the content. Um, so that is all that I had uh, with respect to my entry. I thank you all for coming along on this little journey. With the Galactic Archivist. I hope you found it useful.